In this video we're going to do another stoichiometry problem, but uh, this time we're going to have excess of one reactant. So let's say we have hydrogen gas, say hydrogen gas that looks like this, and then we're going to add that with um, oxygen, uh, O2, this is gas, and then we uh, this will create uh, this will create water vapor. So we'll have H2O H2O, there we go, uh, in gas form. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is, uh, well, let's start by balancing this equation first of all. Um, we're going to need, well, we have two oxygens here, so let's, let's do this in a different color, let's say. We have two H2O, and then as a result, we'll need four hydrogens on this side. Uh, I'm sorry, this would be a two. Okay, so now our equation is balanced. This is hydrogen gas plus oxygen um, will result in water vapor. So let's say that we have 10 grams here. Let's just write it like this. Um, we have 10 grams of oxygen, or sorry, hydrogen. Uh, we're going to add this to just however much oxygen we want. We have an excess. Right? We have as much oxygen as we want. And we want to know how many grams of H2O we get, how many grams of water we get. Right, so we'll put some question marks there in grams. Okay, so then the other thing we have to do is we have to know how much, um, what the molar mass of hydrogen is and what the molar mass of oxygen is and also H2O, well, we can just add those together. So let's start by just defining that. Um, we'll say that we're just going to round a little to keep the numbers simple. Uh, the point isn't to just have tons of decimal places and scare you away. It's just to get familiar with the stoichiometry. So let's just round our molar mass of hydrogen to one gram. But hydrogen gas is a diatomic molecule. It's two. So H2, um, its molar mass would be two grams. Okay. Now same with oxygen. Um, uh, it's usually 16. Uh, we're just sorry. We're just going to round it to 16 grams. Uh, so O2 and that times 2 would be. We're just rounding this to 32 grams. These are the molar um, molar masses. Okay, perfect. And so that would give us for H2O. H2O. Um, our molar mass would be well. There's two hydrogens, so that's. 2 grams plus 1 oxygen, which was 16. So the molar mass of hydrogen, uh, sorry, water, H2O, is going to be 18 grams. Right? We're just ignoring the decimal places just for simplicity in this video. So let's start down here. Um, we'll start with what we're given and end with what we want. Right? So on the left hand side, we know we have 10 grams of hydrogen gas. Okay? And then what we want to get here is how many grams of water vapor we get. So at the end, we're going to have some value uh, in grams, sorry, of H2O, of water. Now, what we want to do is we want to use the molar ratios and the molar mass ratios here to, uh, to switch from 10 grams of hydrogen into some amount of grams of water. So we can start by eliminating those grams and turning it into moles. So we said over here that one mole of H2, uh, hydrogen gas, weighed 2 grams. So we can say that right here, we can write well, times one mole of H2. And put that over two grams of H2. All right, perfect. And so we're going to look here, and the grams of H2 will cancel out. And now we can do that now, or we can do it later. It's up to you. Um, sometimes I just like to cross it out right away so I don't get confused. So we, there we go. So now we're looking at our units now are in moles of H2 moles of hydrogen. So what we want to do is we want to switch from hydrogen, moles of hydrogen, to moles of H2O, because that's the next best thing we can do. And so we have, uh, well, we have two moles of hydrogen and two moles of H2O, so we'll write that in. So we put moles of H2 on the bottom, so we have two moles of hydrogen and two moles, two moles of H2O. Perfect. So then we can look at this and say, well, we have moles of hydrogen and moles of hydrogen, so we can cancel that, cancel that. And now what we have is we have moles, our units, 
are in moles of H2O and we want grams of H2O. So the next thing we're going to do is take the molar mass ratio, which was 18 grams of H2O uh, to one mole. So we can write that here. Um, we have, well, we want to put moles on the bottom, so we have for every mole of H2O, we weighs 18 grams, 18 grams, and that's water, H2O. Okay, so now let's look at this. We have moles of H2O and moles of H2O in here, so we can cancel that and cancel that. All right, perfect. So now we have our units in grams of H2O, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So let's just look through here again. Uh, the, we can cancel a 2 here with this 2. And then all we have to do is take 10 times 1 divided by 2 times 18. So uh, if you just whip out your calculator, we get, um, or you don't need a calculator, you have 18 divided by 2 is 9 times 10. We get 90. There you go. That's actually quite simple. So anyways, so we went from grams of hydrogen and then went all the way over here and ended with grams of water. So anyways, that's just a simple example of stoichiometry again. Um, hopefully you're getting used to the uh, mole ratios in the balanced chemical equation. And here we introduced using a little bit of molar mass stuff um, to switch from an actual, you know, grams in an experiment you're doing um, using this balanced chemical equation to get, you know, the actual grams, you know, hypothetically that you should get in this case of water.